Hi there and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Mikel Arteta says £6 million Arsenal player is now full of confidence. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta has said that Gabriel Martinelli is full of confidence now after scoring twice against the Crystal Palace. Arsenal hammered Palace 5-0 at the Emirates Stadium in the Premier League on January 20. Martinelli scored two goals. The £6 million winger's first goal came in the fourth minute of injury time and his second came just a minute later. The 22-year-old Brazil international has made 17 starts and two substitute appearances in the Premier League for Arsenal this season. The young winger has scored four goals and given two assists in those games. Arteta told Arsenal's official website when asked about Martinelli getting his confidence back after scoring twice against Palace. Absolutely. Sharing the goals is really important, but for individuals, there is confidence and taking some anxiety away from it, and actually scoring two beautiful goals like we did is going to make him a lot of positive things. Gabriel Martinelli has not been at his best this season. There have been occasions when it has looked like opposition players have figured out how to stop the Arsenal winger. However, there is no doubt that Martinelli is a massive talent and is a very tricky player. He is not a winger who can be controlled easily. Given the pace that the Brazil international has and his ability to score good goals, I believe that Martinelli will play a big role for Arsenal in the coming weeks and months. Mikel Arteta's side are aiming to win the Premier League title this season. I think that Martinelli will have a big say in that. Mikel Arteta says 23-year-old Arsenal player is training really well. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta has been speaking about Emil Smith-Rowe. Smith-Rowe has had injury problems for a while, but he is fit and available now. Arteta has been impressed by how the 23-year-old, who can play as an attacking midfielder or as a winger, is training. The Arsenal boss has also said that he hopes to give the England international more playing time. The youngster has made one start and six substitute appearances in the Premier League for the Gunners this season. Arteta told TNT Sports about Smith Rowe the following. Things are coming together for him. Obviously, he had a difficult injury again and a difficult spell. And he is training really well. I think he is really pushing to get more and more minutes and we are trying to do that because he is a fantastic player. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta clearly rates Emil smith -Rowe. He has previously described the 23-year-old as incredible. However, I do not think that smith -Rowe is going to get too many chances in the coming weeks. I think the winger is going to struggle for regular playing time for the rest of the season. Martin Odegaard is the playmaker-in-chief for Arsenal. The Norway international attacking midfielder is starting to get back into top form. Bukayo Saka and Gabriel Martinelli are the two regular wingers for Arsenal. Leandro Trossard always makes an impact whenever he is on the pitch. And Arteta has persisted with Kai Havertz even when the Germany international has struggled. I do not see how Smith Rowe is going to get ahead of so many players. Yes. He may start the odd game, but I think that the 23-year-old England international will have to accept his role as a substitute for the rest of the season. Galatasaray now pushing hard to sign £100,000 a week Arsenal player. Galatasaray are reportedly pushing to sign Arsenal defender Cedric Soares with the Gunners open to letting the Portuguese international leave. The 32-year-old right-back has hardly featured for the North London side this season with Mikel Arteta having an abundance of options in the position in Ben White and Takahiro Tomiyasu. As a result, Cedric has been strongly linked with a move away from Arsenal this January, with the Premier League side keen to offload the defenders' £100,000 a week wages. And according to journalist Ben Jacobs, Turkish giants Galatasaray are hopeful of reaching an agreement with the Gunners for Cedric, whose contract also expires at the end of the season. 
Given the defender's pending free agent status, there is every chance that Arsenal might allow Cedric to leave for nothing if the player can agree to Galatasaray's terms. Yet with Cedric, astonishingly, one of Arsenal's highest paid players, allowing the defender to leave for nothing could be worth given how much the former Southampton star is earning. Cedric has been linked with a move away from Arsenal for what feels like forever with the defender often being used as a scapegoat by fans and the media after poor performances involving the right back and having hardly played this season, the Gunners must be doing all they can to sell Cedric to Galatasaray even if it means not getting a fee for the defender with six months left on his current contract. This should be quite an easy deal for the Turkish giants to agree on especially if Arsenal forgo a transfer fee given Cedric's situation and for Cedric, Galatasaray could be an ideal move for the defender with the right back now in a position where he could make Portugal's squad for Euro 2024 if he hits the ground running. League One giants and Serie A clubs interested in a potential Arsenal transfer raid, says expert. Arsenal left-back Nuno Tavares is emerging as a transfer target for Ligue 1 giants Marseille and also for some Serie A clubs, according to transfer news guru Fabrizio Romano. The 23-year-old has been on loan at Nottingham Forest this season and it remains to be seen if he will be there much longer amid interest in him this January. Though, the deal looks to be rather complicated, speaking exclusively to Kaut of sight for his daily briefing column, Romano explained that Arsenal have interest from several clubs in Tavares this January and they could be open to selling the Portuguese fullback. However, one issue is that Forrest would need to agree to terminate Tavares loan and that doesn't seem to be happening at the moment, meaning Marseille and his suitors from Italy may have to look elsewhere for alternatives in that position. Discussing the latest info on the situation, Romano said, Marseille wanted Nuno Tavares, some Italian clubs too, but Nottingham Forest are not giving the green light to end his loan, they want to keep him especially the manager, Nuno Espirito Santo. Arsenal would be open to selling Tavares immediately, but again, there is currently no green light from Forrest. Arsenal fans will probably hope this situation can change, as the sale of someone like Tavares could be hugely beneficial for financial fair play reasons. Journalist shares what his sources have told him about Arsenal striker Edin Kataya. Talk sport journalist Alex Crook has told Give Me Sport that he has been intimated that Arsenal are very happy with Edin Kataya. Crook has noted that Arsenal are also happy with Gabriel Jesus. Jesus and Nketiah are the two main strikers in Mikel Arteta's squad and the North London club are not separate to bring in a new front man right now. Nketiah who is not rated particularly highly by Alan Scherer, has been linked with a move away from Arsenal in the January transfer window. Journalist Ben Jacobs reported earlier this month that Crystal Palace are keen on the striker and could pay almost £30 million for him. Crook told Give Me Sport. For Soros, they were in talks over a deal with Bashktash and obviously they are open to letting him go. They like Martin Zubimande, but I think he would be too expensive for this transfer window. There has been a lot of outside noise about a striker, but my sources at Arsenal always made it clear that they are quite happy with the Jesus and Edin Kataya. Maybe the latter might get more minutes in the second half of the season. They'd like a midfielder if they could bring one in. But it's very quiet at the moment. In my opinion, Edin Kataya needs to consider his long-term future at Arsenal in the summer of 2024. I'm not saying that the striker should leave Arsenal this week, but he has to look at his options at the end of the season. And Kataya is a good striker who has proven himself in the Premier League. I think that he is good enough to play week in and week out for a mid-table team in the English top flight. Paul Merson says 24-year-old Arsenal player is completely unique. 
Declan Rice cost Arsenal £105 million in the summer, and you only pay that much money for a player if they are unlike anyone else. Indeed, while football economics aren't quite as simple as other markets, the idea of supply and demand still stands. Rice may not be the very best player in the world, but he is one of very few top quality holding midfielders in England right now. Indeed, speaking on Jeff Stalling's Football's Greatest Podcast, Paul Merson has been discussing the lack of defensive midfield players coming through right now, and he noted that Declan Rice is a one-of-a-kind player in England in that regard, claiming that coaches are now neglecting that position from a young age. Merson spoke about the Arsenal star, he said, I don't get it, I don't get it. Everyone says we don't produce holding midfield players, Declan Rice is the only one, he is one of a kind, the problem is that we don't play that position, we work with wingers and fullbacks, it's a thing, if you are a winger, you go back to fullback. Merson is absolutely right, coaches are now neglecting the idea of bringing through these traditional number sixes, Rice is the only one who has come through for a long time now, and even then he started his career as a center half for West Ham, ending up in midfield by chance rather than by design. There is always going to be debate about what youth coaches should be doing, but the fact that we seem to be moving away from producing traditional defensive midfield players isn't necessarily a good thing for the future of the English national team or the tactical balance of the Premier League. Ali McCoy says there is surely no way 40 million pound Arsenal target will be sold this month. Ali McCoy has shot down the idea of Kiernan Dewsbury Hull leaving Leicester City this month, with Arsenal reportedly interested in the midfielder. The Foxes star has arguably been the best player in the championship this season, with Dewsbury Hall scoring 9 goals and bagging 9 assists as Leicester looks set to claim a Premier League promotion. As a result, top flight interest has emerged this January in Dewsbury Hall, with Arsenal one of the sides reportedly keen on signing the £40 million rated midfielder before the closure of the window. However, speaking to Talk Sport, McCoy has voiced his concerns over Dewsbury Hall leaving Leicester, with the pounded confused as to why the Foxes would let one of their star players leave at the stage. McCoy said, there is no way they will let him go, no way, I do not see any benefit at all to Leicester letting Dewsbury Hall go, I just don't see it, I think it would be madness and I just don't see it happening. I mean, how can it happen, Jeff, really, with the position they are in, what they are going for and what they are trying to achieve, it would send out a terrible signal. Dewsbury Hall has always shown promise during his Premier League years with Leicester, yet the season has really seen the midfielder come into his own at the King Power Stadium. Enzo Maresca has unlocked the 26-year-old's true potential in what is turning out to be a potentially record-breaking year for Leicester in the championship with Dewsbury Hall at the heart of it all. And as a result, Leicester would be crazy to even consider selling Dewsbury Hall, even if a club like Arsenal are willing to put up good money for the midfielder. Indeed, Dewsbury Hall is clearly ready for another shot at the Premier League, but the Leicester man would be better off remaining with the Foxes and giving the top flight a crack with his boyhood club. Arsenal in the mix for 130 million euros rated superstar. Although the winter transfer window is seemingly ending with a whimper for Arsenal, the summer could be a whole different ball game for the Gunners. It isn't really clear at this stage how much money will be available in a club coffers for a new signings, though if they can supplement whatever that amount is with sales, then Mikel Arteta could have a significant war chest come July time. The Spaniard will certainly need it if he wants to be in the conversation to buy Napoli's highly rated ace Victor Osiman. That's because the Nigerian ace is likely to leave his club, but the release clause being mooted is at the 130 million euros and 140 million euros. Some of Europe's biggest clubs are likely to be interested in the hitman. 
who was a major factor in Napoli, winning their first Scudetto since Diego Maradona played for the club back in the 90s. It appears that Arsenal and London rivals Chelsea may be ahead of the chasing pack at this stage, however. If Arteta was able to land the player, it would smash Arsenal's transfer record for the second time in a year after Declan Rice joined the Gunners from West Ham last summer and would surely be the biggest statement of intent that the North Londoners mean business. Ciro Venerato spoke on Rai 2's Domenica Sportiva program and said, Already in November, we had clarified the sale of Osiman, who can go away with a clause of up to 140 million euros. PSG have been thinking about it for some time. Chelsea and Arsenal, they are concretely on the player, and in recent weeks, they have had contact with his entourage. Real Madrid are always there, but they have never moved decisively. It remains to be seen who is going to sign Victor Osiman in the next transfer window. As we wrap up today's Arsenal news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.